When I was a welder, I discovered a new way in which planets could form. A star is a ball of molten everything, surrounded by an atmosphere of plasma. Because of the size, the molten everything can stay liquid. During a large eruption, the star may sometimes eject enough molten matter into space, which can develop into meteorites, which in some of my studies is comprised of iron. Very rarely, the star may eject larger globs, which can form into large entities up to planet size. This would be an easy task for the star, given the size of our sun compared to Earth. During the formation of the planet after it has been ejected from its parent star, if in a rare chance it doesn't fall back into the star, the outer layer of the molten everything will form a crust in which crystals will develop into the treasures buried within. All the lighter gases involved in this billion year journey will remain in the upper atmosphere. While the planet moves further away from its parent star, it will get cooler and cooler. The crust also becomes more cool, forming lush green landscapes thanks to the fuel of the star and the rivers and oceans loaded with fish and everything. The moon may have developed it could have been a part of the glob of molten matter that the sun ejected, remaining in synchronous orbit with our planet. If you like this video, please subscribe.